No 50-30 for the bulls? Lame. All right, so still very much inside the bear flag for NQ. I'm 20 BPS today. SPX climbed 50, 58. Still trading against that uh, ascending trend and still consolidating. This will this will all probably be determined by PPI in the morning. But we have PPI in the pre market. Uh, ISM ISM production cost data came in red hot, up like eight percent on the prior PMI reports and. CPI showed some increased costs in specifically transportation that make me think that, uh, oh, and additionally, uh, regional Fed indexes, the industrial production reports, all also showed increased producer costs. So there is a chance that PPI for January, which is the one we're getting, is going to reflect some of those increased prices. And I think there's a chance that it's a little hotter than anticipated. Much, much like CPI had the chance of being a little hotter than anticipated. So I think if PPI is also hotter than anticipated, that might have a it might have more of a negative impact on like forward EPS estimates for the S&P than CPI does. Obviously hot CPI improves EPS estimates, hot PPI doesn't. So um, we'll see how that looks tomorrow, but it could definitely affect things. We are very weakly stable above 5,000 with the only the only real support tomorrow being, being that positioning at 5,000 and also being uh, the charm. Uh, much of which will fall off by the time the AM expiration is over. Um, so if the data is bearish um, and we run into the AM expiration to the downside, we may lose the support of that charm throughout the day tomorrow. Keep that in mind. Um, it uh, could be a very big deal. We also have Michigan consumer sentiment tomorrow. That's not such a big deal. So we saw the dollar decline about 0.4 today, despite European Union, Great Britain, and Japan all kind of simultaneously slipping into non-declared recessions. And the top end of the yield curve turned down a bit. Volatility down on futures, down on cash, down on three month, although three month and futures volatility not down very much today and earlier in the day they were actually up uh oil up 1.34 percent and gold up a little bit uh i'd imagine on the back of a tiny bit of currency fears uh especially especially due to the recessions that may be taking place internationally broad commodities up a little bit today also maybe in response to recessionary fears yields eh. I mean, up from this morning, but still down overall. Correlation down a little bit today, both on the three and the one month. USD, JPY, like, so the carry trade uh, still within trend, but down a little bit from where it was this morning. Yields are tightening, but volatility is pushing back towards negative. Or the forward returns on volatility convexity back towards negative. I should probably describe what that actually is. Skew, not updated yet, but I'd imagine it's higher really no significant change in correlation between VX and cash VIX there. RSP up a pretty decent amount. Uh, this and our Russell breadth really helped support the run today, especially earlier in the day when we saw a significant amount of weakness in mega cap tech. Um, that, that, that weakness did resolve itself, but not very much. And NQ overall still really hasn't recovered it's bullish trend. It's close to it, but it hasn't recovered it yet. So tentatively, all of these things uh, could break down still. They haven't, but but they could. This is the one week on the S&P. Um, so we did slip out of trend there and retested the low from the prior week. We still have not reset the higher high or created a new higher high. And if we fail to do that into the back half of this week, this is the setup for a technical reversal that would mean the next week opens roughly around here and then probably trades to the the lower side apple is ripping on what news just nothing just didn't like being 81 dollars that's what it looks like they said ai oh uh, okay siri updated now with ai here's my question if all of them are competing with each other right like here's the ai pie 
And they've all got a slice. Why are they all worth more and more money? It's a deep pie? Big pie. AI is money. But, but hold on, if Apple AI is the best AI, better than Microsoft AI and Meta AI, hmm. <laughs> They'll make infinite AI partnerships. And so it's just a market with infinite market share. Or is it just kind of like buy everything and then sell the losers? It's just a massive circle of soft good crank. Nice. Apple said AI had their earnings and no one gave a sh I don't know why this makes a difference. Anyway, it's only up like 75 basis points. It's not that big of a deal. All right. Well, that covers everything I wanted to talk about today so i'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning have a good night everybody later